Ziggy Sabaka has seemingly accomplished everything that it's possible for a college football player to accomplish. He carried Mississippi State to a national championship and won the Heisman Trophy as a defensive player. It makes sense for him to go to the NFL as the potential number one pick, especially with his hard-hitting play style already wearing on his body. But there's one goal that Ziggy hasn't accomplished, and that's breaking his father's record of 28 interceptions in one season. Ziggy ends up shocking the world by choosing to come back for his senior season at Miss State, thanks in part to a historic multi-million dollar NIL deals, and his goal this season is to catch 30 interceptions and prove that he's the greatest player in college football history. All right, man, so Ziggy has returned for his senior year, and we're taking on Southern Miss in the first game. We get things started off with a big hit. I'm trying to break every record this year, so we need to get a lot of picks against these lesser teams, and he almost throws us one there. Ole Miss has been running the ball quite a lot so far, so we're gonna have to take our opportunities when we get them. Big time third and 13 here. They're just gonna dump it off, and we stop them short. These dudes are going for it on fourth down, so already the play of the game early and he's just running it ziggy sits him down to stop him short our boy has six tackles in the first quarter tackles are great but we're here for the interceptions we gotta have one here soon they just will not stop running it though on third down we're finally gonna get a shot on the post route and ziggy goes up for that one to pick it off and we're gonna take this down the sideline to the house let's go first of many on the season and this is where i'm hoping we get the snowball effect let's catch a couple more in this half ziggy's hits have been ridiculous so far he's looking to lead the country and tackles by a mile for the second year in a row as we are shutting down the southern miss offense we're up by 28 and the half hasn't even hit yet as i thought we had that angle route baited up ziggy's gonna range over for the tackle we have a great chance to get one more pick before halftime here that was almost it but we just miss it still man 10 tackles on the half is crazy and we're gonna get a chance at a pick before the half the wide receiver actually comes down with it but we're putting up an absolutely wild stat line going into the second half and those stats are just gonna keep getting better with time running down in the fourth quarter we're gonna pick up our first sack of the season and this fourth down is probably gonna be the last play of the game for us ziggy baits it up and that'll be an insane one-handed pick even with the rain coming down we pimp on them so we get out of there with an easy dub finishing with a gorgeous stat line ziggy's trying to lock down his second straight heisman in his senior season so next up we're taking on uab this feels like a game where we can come up with a few picks this has been a pretty uneventful game so far but they're gonna run this screen here and ziggy He's all over that. That'll be our first pick to the day, and it's going to the bank. We take a 17-point lead. Ziggy continues to put up crazy stats against these lesser teams. We almost got in there for another pick. UAB actually hasn't thrown the ball that much so far, and we miss a chance at another pick, dude. I thought I had that in route baited up, but we didn't accelerate quite soon enough. Honestly, wasn't expecting that QB to have enough time to throw it, but he's running the same route here, and this time we're all over it. Ziggy's gonna break some tackles trying to get out to midfield. Second of the half. The way this season has started, man, it looks like Ziggy's capable of putting up 25 picks this year. His ultimate goal is to beat his dad's interception record, which I believe was 27. And Ziggy's diving for this one. I will take a third on the half. I knew what play was coming before it even started. That was another one-handed pick. Right now, we're on pace to tie the single game interception record of six that Nick set. Quarterback's taken off. Sit down. Ziggy's been racking up some sacks as well. Our stat line is looking very illustrious right now. And a quarterback's gonna fumble. Our boy, number 20, 23 picks it up and takes it to the crib. We're absolutely obliterating UAB. I'm worried the coach is going to take us out of the game. I'm surprised that hit wasn't another fumble. Very rarely do you see Ziggy go for a tackle and not get a big hit. That's another fumble, and I thought we had a shot to pick it up, but Ziggy doesn't react. Maybe a missed opportunity for a scoop and score there. But Ziggy reads that curl route beautifully, and we might have a shot at a pick six. All we got to do is outrun the lineman, and we're down the sidelines, man. Fourth interception on the day. Beautiful awareness by Ziggy man. I technically couldn't see the curl on that side, but when I saw the one over the middle of the field, I knew there was going to be one. Those are the plays that Ziggy can make thanks to his experience as a senior. He reads the field on a totally different level at this point, and our teammates are balling out too. Number 10 comes up with the pick. I love that coach is keeping us in. He wants to see Ziggy get those Heisman stats. That was almost our fifth pick of the day. We were just a second late on the curl. Probably only going to have a few more chances to go get that. We've been running a ton of man coverage, which I think is part of the reason Ziggy's been getting so many more picks. Just like his dad, man and roaming zones are really what Ziggy's comfortable with. As you know, he's going to be roaming one way or the other. I baited that up a little bit too much. Could have been our fifth, but it turns into a big gain. And UAB's just running it now. This third down might just be our last chance. And that's a screen we didn't read it in time. But UAB is going for the fourth and 13. They're just going to dump it off though. That'll be the game. So a blowout dub and a crazy game from Ziggy. A light four interceptions plus a sack on the day. Not even a 
sniff says the dang scoreboard thing next up is auburn last time against these dudes we went absolutely crazy had three picks in the first half i believe quarterback scramble and sit down already a sack on the day for our boy ziggy's the best qb spy in the country from the safety position he always has his eyes in the backfield picking up another tackle and we've already got a third and long that's just curls i'm gonna get in there for the blitz thought we were gonna get another sack and for the first time this season ziggy's gonna get a punt return coach has been keeping him off the field against these lesser teams so he doesn't risk injury and on his first return he's gonna make something shake he gets the spin move off and there is nobody who's gonna catch him 69 yards to the house and we are out to an early lead on auburn really could not have asked for a better start in our sec opener this quarterback just will not stop running ziggy is going to hit him hard until he gets knocked out of the game auburn is able to pick up that first down though with a big run all right so defense got to clamp up we cannot take these boys too lightly we got him to third and long again here i thought that was a screen but he runs curls we would have had the pick if the wide receiver didn't come back to that but we stop him short and we've got the chance for another punt return coming out of our own end zone this is gonna be tough we're gonna hit the back juke again and this is a slow punt return team man we might have another house call just got one dude to beat downfield but he gets us ziggy's been close to a couple of picks here though i feel like it's only a matter of time till he gets one we'll take a tackle for loss there putting up crazy tackle numbers in this game but that's not what i came for they are just gonna keep letting me have these punt returns though coach has decided he's gonna put ziggy out there till we have a comfortable lead i guess and y'all already know the back juke is just too op on the punt returns we have one man to beat again but we run out of gas offense is finally able to get a touchdown right before half we just gotta keep doing our thing on defense auburn's offense is useless right now meanwhile our offense has woken up we got a three score lead now with just a few seconds left in the half auburn's going screen we're able to go over and make the tackle now we're gonna have a chance for a cheap pick with the hail mary i haven't gotten one of these yet in ziggy's career and the quarterback's just gonna get sacked so no pick so far but still a good half and now we're gonna get our pick quarterback tries us on the play action and that was just a stupid idea we will take that to the crib auburn is answering back with a nice little drive here but on second and goal we fly into the backfield for the big hit on the read option so third down i gotta think that this is two down territory for him and with ziggy flying in for the blitz the quarterback does deliver a strike for the touchdown i'm hoping that's too little too late we just can't give up any big plays here and the auburn quarterback's gonna fumble it number 26 scoops it up beautifully that'll be a nice little scoop and score so that's pretty much gonna bag this up coach goes ahead and takes ziggy off the field not our most eventful game but a really solid performance from the defense so next up we got our first real big test of the season against lsu and ziggy forces a fumble on the second play from scrimmage that is how we crack this thing open reminiscent of last year against lsu where ziggy had two forced fumbles sadly offense doesn't get anything out of that but we are racking up the tackles already hopefully lsu starts passing the ball here soon they are gonna pick up that first down and the tigers are starting to move the ball just a little bit but ziggy puts a stop to that real quick with a huge hit on neighbors Ziggy wants that second forced fumble bad but lsu picks up another third and long so we got to put a stop to this drive right here and ziggy jumps up to pick off the play action but he drops it would have been an absolutely huge play but on third down they're gonna try us again on the corner route and this time ziggy's gonna get out of here he's gonna take the interception to the house i knew that play was coming man never run the same play on ziggy twice two turnovers in the first half and i thought that was gonna be a third man we got right in front of the pitch but somehow it got through us that would have been going to the crib for sure and i thought that was a screen dude's gonna dot us up for the touchdown so ziggy gets caught peeking and lsu is right back in this game we play the speed option beautifully once again on second and 13 i'm looking for that pick but they're just gonna run the draw running back is throwing dudes off of him so third and six huge play with a couple minutes left in the half and he's shooting it up deep man almost burnt my cornerback but we get the stop and offense comes up with a big six as we were just a little bit behind that out route for what would have been an interception that'll take us into the second half with a 10 point lead and lsu is going with the bubble we almost had that too dude throws an accurate ball and that's a pick 100 and lsu starting to push the ball into our territory again here we need another clutch interception here this quarterback slicing us up right now he has stayed far away from ziggy since that interception and they're just gonna run the draw on third down we stop him just short so lsu goes with the field goal offense gets a 
touchdown. That is a huge win for us as Ziggy comes up with another massive hit. So a third and very long to start the fourth quarter. And Ziggy gets completely lost in coverage, man. I really didn't think he was going to try us there. Very sloppy stick skills for me. That should have been a pick 1000%. Would have pretty much put this game away. But instead, the LSU drive continues. And we have choked away games like this before. Somehow he's going to get the pitch out there. That's okay, though. We'll pick up the tackle. So a huge third and eight with time ticking down. And there's nowhere for him to go. Quarterback takes the sack. And for some reason, LSU punts it. Offense is going to kill almost the whole clock and score a touchdown. Absolutely cowardly call from Brian Kelly. And now we're just playing for stats. We bait up the go route for the interception. Third turnover caused by Ziggy on the day. And that gives him 30 interceptions in his missed state career. That'll do it. Another excellent performance. Ziggy's just shy of his four turnovers against LSU last year. Be sure to like the video. Peace.